Good morning. Thank you all so much for joining me this morning. This morning, I am joined by City Council Member Stephen Whitburn, uh, Lori Holt Filer, the President and CEO of the Building Industry Association of San Diego, and Todd Major, uh, the Senior Vice President of Lowe. Uh, also with me this morning is our city's director of city planning, uh, Heidi Von Blum, uh, and members of her incredible planning team. All our planners are here. Thank you guys for what you do. Uh, and then to the board members of the Yimby Democrats of San Diego County, a local group that advocates for and supports building more housing. For decades, the city of San Diego has failed to build enough housing to keep up with our population growth. As a result, we see sky high rent today and the prospects of home ownership seemed uh, without a reach from most San Diegans. This is not the kind of San Diego that we want. And it's not the kind of San Diego that people here deserve. And this lack of affordable housing in our communities is connected to literally almost every single issue that we face as a city. So today we're doing something about that. As I stated in my State of the City address, we must build more housing. In a few minutes, I will sign my Housing Action Package 2.0 into law. This is the second package of housing policy reforms that we have passed in my administration. One of the policy reforms included in HAP 2.0 is one that incentivizes the transformation of underused commercial properties into desperately needed housing. And that's why we've chosen to celebrate this occasion on this site. This property was purchased last summer by Lowe, which envisions redeveloping this site into a transit-oriented mixed-use village that will help us address our housing crisis and give this important corner of Mission Valley a much-needed glow-up. Todd will tell you a little bit more about that in just a few moments. That piece of HAP 2.0 is just one of the many reforms that, were, that will be used to make it easier to build homes that everyday San Diegans can't afford. These are also, there are also reforms to help us create more affordable homes for people who are at risk of homelessness or are actually currently homeless, for students, for senior citizens, and for people with disabilities. There are measures in this ordinance that will help us build more homes on public property, prevent displacement and preserve existing affordable housing, protect residents in certain areas from harmful land uses, and make our popular Complete Communities program even more attractive. These housing action packages come alongside numerous other efforts that we have made to build more housing in San Diego, such as an executive order that I signed a year ago requiring affordable housing projects to be reviewed within 30 days, a new executive order that I signed to expedite housing projects under our Complete Communities Projects Program, our Bridge to Home initiative where the city invests funding directly into affordable housing projects to close their funding gap and get shovels into the ground more quickly and updating our community plans to create more capacity for new housing in places where it makes the most sense. All of these efforts combined are what we are what will compel the state, I'm sorry, let me say that again. All of these efforts combined are what compelled the state of California to officially designate the city of San Diego as a pro-housing city. And all of us here are extremely proud of that designation. Now that designation aside, at the end of the day, this is about people. This is about making sure that we have enough supply to drive down the cost of housing and put that money back into people's pockets. Last year was a great year for housing in the city of San Diego. We issued over 50% more permits than the year before, and I'm hopeful that today's signing will help put us on a path to even a better year in 2024. With that, it's my pleasure to introduce a great partner in all efforts to build more homes that San Diegans can afford, the representative for this part of Mission Valley, Councilmember Stephen Whitburn. Councilmember? Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us here today. I am proud of the housing that is currently being built here in Council District 3, and I am very excited for what's to come. So I was pleased to vote for HAP 2.0, but this important measure would never have come before the San Diego City Council if it were not for our mayor making housing affordability such a high priority. Streamlining housing production will help to reduce homelessness and stabilize rents, and it will do so with the urgency that it deserves. HAP 2.0 isn't just legislation, it is a lifeline for families who are struggling to make ends meet. One aspect of HAP 2.0 is the use of small micro units as an affordable housing option, especially for seniors and young professionals and for students. Many of them need a place to live that is affordable and that is close to the trolley and the bus stations. 
Micro units of 500 square feet or less provide such an affordable option. We've seen the success of these smaller units located near transit stops here in Council District 3. And as MTS Chair, I have supported the development of transit-oriented housing, and I look forward to seeing more of it. The mayor has practically ensured that more affordable housing will be developed through his executive orders that speed up permit processing times for affordable housing. By requiring city departments to review all affordable housing and complete communities projects within 30 days, the mayor creates a powerful incentive for developers to build these types of projects. In conclusion, I'd like to thank the mayor for everything that he is doing to help move people off the streets and into housing and to help that make that housing more affordable. We are moving in the right direction and we need to build upon that progress and HAP 2.0 will help us to meet our goals. And now I'd like to introduce Lori Feiler, the president and CEO of the Building Industry Association of San Diego County. Thank you. I am thrilled to be here with supporters of good housing policy. The mayor and council understand the need for housing, and I look forward to working and partnering with them and to continue to find solutions. Housing Action Plan 2.0 provides opportunities to build the housing we need. We are very short of housing, and we can build the housing we need, and this action provides another tool for us to use. We need the housing to meet the meet we we need the housing to meet the needs of families. When we don't provide that housing, we force families to move farther and farther away. We lose our sense of community. Our families, people still work here in San Diego, but they don't know San Diego anymore. A healthy housing, a healthy community has a healthy housing market. HAP 2.0 will help get us there. Thank you, Mayor and Council. And now I'd like to introduce Todd Major from Lowe. Thank you, Lori. Uh, we sincerely appreciate your work and the ongoing collaboration with the BIA. I would like to thank the Mayor, Council Member Whitburn, City Council, Heidi Von Bloom, and planning staff for their leadership and ongoing efforts to address the significant housing deficit here in San Diego. Housing Action Plan 2.0 is an important part of this process. Finding innovative ways to provide housing for San Diegans will help ensure the long-term viability of our community. Here at Mission Valley Center, we are early in the process, having just acquired the property six months ago. However, our plan is to reposition this property, revision it into a center, a vibrant, transit-oriented, mixed-use destination that reflects the character, context, and culture of San Diego. We will leverage our recent experience and success revisioning town and country to provide opportunities for infill multifamily housing adjacent to retail and transit. Lowe and our partners are committed to maintaining and revitalizing a strong retail presence on this property, building on its strengths and updating the property with engaging public spaces unique local restaurants, and retailers that offer a community-centered destination. We understand that a thoughtfully conceived retail experience allows for the addition of complementary uses, such as multifamily housing. Housing Action Plan 2.0 allows for the addition of infill housing on underutilized parking lots. The ability to effectively utilize these areas will be an important part of revitalizing this center, helping to create a dynamic mixed-use environment into the future. I appreciate your time, and I'll turn it back over to Mayor Gloria. Thank you so much, Todd, and appreciate Lowe's willingness to invest in our great city. I look, I'm glad to partner with you to take uh, that investment and turn it into something great for our city. Uh, thank you uh, to Lori uh, and the BIA uh, for their presence here today. Uh, thank our uh, young Democrats, our Yimby uh, Dems who are here. Uh, we're doing this for you, right? 
they're working hard, they're getting an education, they want to build a future in this city, but they have to see a future in this city. I hope that today gives you a sense that you, that vision is starting to come into focus. Uh, and then of course to our incredible city team uh, led by Heidi uh, and the city planning department, uh, to Tate and to uh, Seth and the entire uh, planning group who is here. Uh, these folks uh, take uh, great ideas and vision from the council member and I, turn it into good policy, and then they're the ones that are going to make sure that this actually gets executed well. Um, I'm really proud of our city planning team, uh, and a, a, the results speak for themselves in terms of that 50% increase uh, in the number of permits. We're going to get in position here in just a moment. You can stay where you are for the signing, but I want to just conclude with this observation. Now I'm a third generation San Diegan. I come from a blue collar family. My parents were able to buy a home in San Diego. That was just a generation ago. Today, I think we all know that blue collar families don't believe that they can buy a home in this city, and that's wrong. As mayor and with this council, we wanna do everything we possibly can to send a message to hardworking people that if you're willing to work hard in this city, we will make a place for you. That's what the housing action package is about. That's what our executive orders are about. That's what we will continue to do. We've got a lot of work ahead, and I'm not afraid of hard work. I will do what it takes to make sure that those folks who currently look at the housing market and say, I can't afford the luxury stuff, if I don't earn enough, but I make too much for the subsidized stuff. We're going to focus on the working and middle class of the city to make sure that they know that they're welcome here in San Diego. That's what we'll be doing, and that's what we're taking a huge step forward with today with this signing. So thank you all for being here. Give us just a moment. We get in position uh, for the signing. Thank you. All right, let's make this law. There you go.